Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Um, I hope you all are doing good and um, I'm excited to uh, enter into the spring season and I'm also excited to look forward for what God has prepared for the rest of the year. Uh, I hope you all are looking forward as well because God is so good and He's so faithful and um, He's going to do greater things in your life. Um, I saw an eagle in the Discovery Channel. Uh, it was soaring high but it was so hungry. Uh, it was searching for a food. So as it was looking for a prey, um, so it spotted a turtle. Just imagine if this is the turtle. Uh, it spotted the turtle and for some time, so it tried, it was looking at it and it could not really um, break the turtle shell because the, the turtle shell was so hard and it's really not um, easy to break it. So this eagle, it picked up this turtle through its claws and then it really f kind of like took it to greater heights. So after it took it to greater heights, this eagle dropped the turtle and it was following through um, the turtle to see that this turtle hit a rock and it splattered and it becomes a platter for this eagle and that eagle was satisfied. The hunger was um, completely satisfied. Like this eagle that really took the problem into a different realm, not just in the ground level, but took it to the different level. The same way Bible says in um, Philippians chapter four and verse six, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, the prayer and petition Present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That is so powerful. Right now, God is really blessing you with an eagle anointing so that you don't really uh, deal things with your own effort and strive hard. Many of you may be um, in a situation where you could not move forward or you could not come out. You are stuck like this eagle and turtle situation. So God is really giving you this, you know, like a, a revelation to take this turtle kind of problem to a different realm, to a different level, to a different situation, to a different atmosphere. Eagle's prey is also snake. Eagle eats snakes as well. So talking about that, many times in your life, many serpents or snakes might have come against you to, to bite you, to completely devour you. But here's the good news. God is really giving you this eagle anointing. So you are no longer going to fear for snakes that is really coming to attack your life. But rather, I'm talking about the spiritual snakes, but rather you are going to completely rule and reign. You are going to devour. You are going to completely, you know, like uh, um, chase the snakes. The snakes are going to run away from you. You are going, you have the authority and power even to cut the snakes into pieces because that's what eagles do. It just completely, you know, like, uh, um, cuts the snakes into pieces and, um, and and the snakes have no way out. So it's enough of you fearing for the problem. Let problems fear for you because greater is he who is in you than the one who is in the world. God is with you. Jesus is in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. The glory of God is covering you. The glory of God is completely upon you and with you. God is going to give you uh, uh, anointing that you can soar high, mount up high like the eagle because right now God is doing some impartation in your life to be a blessing, to break through those bondages, those Jericho walls. Nothing by any means can stop you. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. You will completely conquer. You will see all those walls in your life will be broken and crumbled down, crushed down into pieces, into ground. And you are taking things to the next level, to the next spiritual level. You're taking to the different atmosphere. Jesus died on the cross. He gained the victory. He defeated the enemy. He crushed the snake. He crushed the snake head on the cross. He crushed the enemy's head on the cross. So you have victory. You are the joint head with Jesus and you are the sons and daughters of God. You are the prince and princesses of God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. God, I pray for everyone who is watching this. Bless them. Fill them with the eagle anointing. 
Let all the walls of Jericho crumble down before their eyes and let there be an open door. I see new doors God is opening in every areas of your life. And also God is really completely crushing the enemy because he has given you the authority. You are going to rule and reign. You are going to soar high. You are going to be completely satisfied. You are going to be quenched. All your thirst will be quenched. All your hunger will be satisfied. Thank you, Jesus. Bless them and let this week be a blessing and, and let every areas and every aspects of the life be a blessing. We give you all glory, honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Amen.